Well, it's um, Monday, so um, the COVID-19 <laughs> chaos still continues. So, um, uh, so I don't know how long it's going to go on for. At the moment, um, I worked today. Uh, I was meant to be doing a shorter day, but it ended up being even shorter than what I thought it was going to be. Um, uh, so I've done. We've done most of the day we were meant to do, but um, my manager came out of a meeting and they decided to shut the office uh, for uh, with immediate effect. So um, it's likely to remain shut for about a week, and that's for the purpose of a deep clean. But um, yeah, uh, we're still going to be paid, so that's. Um, a real positive, so I'd remain on full pay if I worked a full week. But um, I'm hopefully it's going to be a week. Um, I said the rest of this week I'm going to be sitting around here. So um, I'm going to think of things to, to probably speak about, but um, I'm kind of at a loose end. So um, might be just uh, just how I need to do something probably to keep myself amused and um, I think there's a few jobs like cleaning I can do um, in the flat and but I think my plan is just to stay here the next few days and um, just see how I am but um, it's one of my colleagues then started another started showing symptoms so it was just me and my manager left in the team so um, yeah, um, we were kind of hoping that um, we wasn't. I wasn't gonna fall next, or, or she was either. So, um, yeah. But it's. I'm gonna try and remain positive. I always do on these things, and fingers crossed. Next week we'll be back at work. But um, um, and then uh, this lockdown ends soon. But. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to see how things go. Um, if it looks like another week of sort of see how this week goes, if it doesn't, um, I might take a week off just so that um, it's not going to be too much repetitive for you guys. But uh, yeah, a bit of um, a downer start to month the week, but um, it's uh, probably a good way to get some. Uh, rest and recuperation so yeah anyways um, I'm just cooking my dinner now so I'm going to have some chicken burgers I was going to do chips but it's starting to get on a bit so probably just have the burgers and then um, uh, have a shower head to bed but uh, I'll leave it for today and I'll say I will um, see you guys tomorrow well, I've had kind of a day in isolation today, so it's kind of been a quietish Tuesday, so um, there was no work, obviously, and um, uh, it would have been actually my non-work day, come to think of it, so um, yeah, I managed to clean my bathroom, so that was one productive, positive thing, I had a nice lie in. Uh, but uh, yeah, so um, tomorrow uh, I think I might probably go out on the balcony, but um, I, I want to uh, lead by example and not go out too much unless essential. So my aim is um, I did buy some food at the weekend, so I'm probably going to wait till the weekend before I leave the flat. But um, say it's an ever changing situation, and it could be that I might have to leave the flat if um, we get an update from work. But um, yeah, uh, quietish day today, but managed to get some stuff done. Um, I had final. Um, Corn, um, corn mozzarella burger. So that was actually no, that's a Linda McCartney's mozzarella burger. I lie there. Um, so that was uh, quite nice. I had that with some chips, and then I had a, a cornetto for dessert. So 
Um, and then I started the day with some jam on toast. So it's it's been quite a quiet one. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it here and hopefully tomorrow I get some other footage and probably a bit further out surrounds. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's uh, Wednesday, so um, it's been a sort of kind of um, another day on sort of lockdown. So um, I ha haven't been able to go to work today. The the office um, is not being cleaned yet. Um, it's like looking like that's going to happen uh, probably early next week. Uh, what they've told us. Due to the developing situation there, we're now going to be home working. So um, that will happen sort of once they can get me a laptop. And um, uh, although I do a telephone based role, they're hopefully getting that to a point where I can do that from home. So uh, it's quite an apprehensive, and I'm not into, in, entirely sure how I feel about it. But it's um, sort of the way it is at the moment, and I guess that's um, the way to offer some sort of kind of service. But um, yeah, it's um, I'm sort of a bit uncertain at how I can take to it. I'm going to be positive. I always am in these things. And it could be the best thing that um, I've ever done, but. Um, uh, it's it's certainly better, at least hopefully I can feel a bit more productive, but it's, um, yeah, we had a, a kind of video chat with um, Dave, Jake, Aiden and Nick again this uh, today, so that was something quite good. Um, and as I say, we, we had the, where well, we found out the news that I was going to be home working. That was on um, a conference call with my work colleagues, so it was great to hear, like, voices. But it's, um, yeah, it's all, um, yeah, it's, it's all a bit of change. And potentially it could be here or like this for a few months, um, which is a little scary. Um, a couple, it's nearly a couple of weeks since I saw my parents, and I could go months without seeing them, so... It's, uh, it's, um, yeah, well, I said last week my friends that picked up that I did sound, um, a bit, um, uh, uh, anxious about what was going to happen, and normally that's something I don't often feel, but, um, it's, I guess it's an anxious time for everybody at the moment, and so, um, it's uh, uh, sort of, all, sort of, all, it's a, an odd situation, but um, I'm taking thought. No, no one I know has the virus. Um, most people I know are, are fairly well, so it's um, it's uh, just hope, hope and pray for it's not as long as they think it's going to be, or. The, the worst case scenarios they've been saying um, and as I say I, once it all blows over have a meet up a nice celebration and sort of catch up with everyone but uh, uh, hopefully uh, as soon as these vlogs can start taking a better tone um, but um, uh, escaping from these four walls. I kind of did get out today. Um, I did walk downstairs and put my rubbish out, and that's the closest I've, I've been to actually leaving the flat in the last few days, but, um, well, since Monday. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm going to call it a night here tonight, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Um, about nine o'clock now, and um, I've had a productive day so far. I've managed to clean um, the kitchen. Um, I watched um, uh, the Harry Redknapp Sandbanks. That's not too far. Um, Sandbanks is not too too far away from Bournemouth. Um, it's sort of effectively in the area. Um, well, that's technically classed as part of Paul. But um, yeah, no, it was quite interesting. Sort of seeing places. Um, I know on that. Um, and then I uh, clean the kitchen as well, so that's um, all spick and span now. I'm just about to tuck into my dinner, so I've done it. 
So that's um, a, uh, a bird's eye chicken burger, and I got some chips as well. So um, go give this a try. Um, Mmm. Chicken's quite nice and tender there, and it's got a nice crunchy um, breadcrumb certain out on the outside. So yeah, very nice. And I'll just have to try one of the chips. Mmm. Yes, and they've come out quite well. Um, a bit crunchy, which is what I like, and um, they're, they're having chips, and they'll do quite well. But um, uh, tonight, um, unfortunately, I didn't film it, but I went out and then did clapping for carers and NHS again, and there was still quite a few cheers going around the town centre, and um, you could hear all the fireworks going off again, and um, boat horns, so... Um, all very good, and I think hope. I think I don't know. Whilst this is happening, this is become going to become like a weekly thing. It's a bit of a boost to the nation, and um, as I said, especially when as I've been here here all week, it's been a bit lonely. But um, hopefully, um, we're, we're back in the office next week. Um, but then we'll, we'll be setting up to go uh, home working. So. Um, that's just something which will keep me occupied um, a lot through the day, so it's something I kind of look forward to. But uh, anyway, I, I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's uh, Friday, so um, quite a productive and interesting day, actually. So I got up, we had a video call with uh, Nick, Jake and uh Aiden, and so that was quite fun. They had a phone call from work, so uh, work is all scheduled to reopen again on Monday, um, and and then we'll probably do a few days at work, and then then go into home working. So um, that's something new and on the scene. So something interesting to try, and I'm just going to approach it with um, a positive mindset. Um, I've cleared up an area where I think I'm going to put be working from. Then um, uh, I've I've done a few loads of washing today, and so it's, it was quite nice. I was able to get a lot of it dry, so it's all hung up on my airer over there. Um, and uh, I managed to air out my bedroom as well. So, uh, but I'm just about to tuck into my dinner now. So I did some noodles. I had a bit of chicken left over. So I've gone for chicken noodles. Um, I'm kind of going to do a shop tomorrow, so hopefully get some more supplies in um, to last me ne throughout next week. But um, so I'm quite chuffed at how today's gone and um, in, in a quite a good place. Um, so it's been quite an uncertain time at the moment, but uh, um, hopefully I, I sort of know where things are going but uh, anyways um, I'm gonna leave it here and I will see you uh, I might catch you in a bit tonight if not I'll see you guys tomorrow so. well it's uh, quite late on Saturday so I've had a good day today um, I had a lion which is usual for a Saturday but um, uh, when I'm not working but it's um, I had a uh, I did my shopping today, so I went to the uh, Tesco's in Iford, um, just on the outside of Bournemouth. Um, I th thought I'd get in a big shop, I needed some supplies as well, and some uh, hair shampoo and um, deodorant. So I went and stopped off there, I then went to Marks and Spencer's at Castle Point, and got some like fruit and uh, some meat as well. Um, and uh, a roast dinner for tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna have uh, it's a, a sort of oven cooked one. It's a, a roast dinner in um, in a in a Yorkshire pudding. So um, quite nice. Um, decided I didn't want to cook tonight, so I tried delivery for the first time. So um, that's uh, people. 
might not have it in the country. It's an app where um, it's similar to Uber Eats and um, uh, Just Eat, where you can sort of order from takeaways restaurants. So I ordered from Kitchen uh, Sushi, so they're still operating on a um, takeaway basis. So um, I got some sort of Mackey rolls to start, uh, start with. They only had salmon, so I thought went for that. And then um, uh, I had for the main um, a katsu, um, uh, cat chicken katsu curry. That's something I like and. Um, it's all quite nice. And then um, uh, for dessert, I had some ice cream balls. So there were some rice balls, but with salted caramel ice cream. So it was uh, very nice. So I'm um, quite chuffed with that. And I've just had um, a chilled out night. I played a bit of Forza, uh, watched some YouTube, and then um, so I'm heading off to bed now. But uh, anyways, so I, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm probably going to do. A sort of bigger roundup. I mean, it's kind of been a a week where I haven't done very much due to the situation, but maybe this is something I can look back on at how to handle an isolation situation. But uh, anyway, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, um, it's Sunday now, so I'm just about to sit down to my dinner. I'm having um, a Yorkshire pudding with a roast chicken inside it. So it's got some sausages, uh, pork stuffing as well, uh, roast potatoes, so I'm going to have that shortly. Uh, had a bit of a lion today, so that was nice. It's um, kind of been the story of this week, so, um, uh, so we were sent home from the office which was closed for a deep clean, um, so um, yeah, um, hasn't turned out how I expected it to be, but um, uh, sort of kind of captured how I've coped with being in isolation this week and all I've done is mainly stay in the flat and I say other than the going to shop going shopping yesterday I haven't um, gone out of it so um, yeah but I'm looking forward to tomorrow although I'm g we're going back to work and hopefully it's the start of some sort of normality until um, uh, some sort of normality until the um, uh, until I'm home working, but uh, I'm sort of kind of keeping my fingers crossed that everything does return back to normal shortly. I'm, I'm looking forward to going back to Fairham uh, just to see parents and, and friends as well, and but I don't know when it when it's going to happen. But um, anyways, uh, I will see you guys um, next week and hopefully, I'm, I'm going to try and vlog next week and see how it goes and fingers crossed um, everything is um, back to normal. But uh, yeah, um, as always, please like and subscribe and um, your comments are always welcome, maybe suggestions on uh, how things go. Uh, moving forwards anyway um, I'm going to see you guys uh, next week and um, thank you for watching and fingers crossed that there's a bit more exciting which happens next week but uh, anyway um, all the best to you which is going on lockdown as well and hopefully um, uh, you guys are all forced that safe and well out there but uh, anyways um, I will see you guys next week